Yo, what's going on Rans? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the mods for TaxTunLife.net and pretty much any other Armor 3 life server that comes out. Uh, so, to start off with, you want to go to the Armor 3 Sync website, which will be in the description, and you want to make sure you download Armor 3 Sync. You can just scroll down to the bottom and click here to download it. You then want to navigate to our Discord and go to the server information channel. And you can see website, TeamSpeak IP, all the stuff that you'll need to be able to connect to the server. So, to start off with, you want to go to the Google Drive, open it up. Click the download button and click download. Anyway, you'll then download 13 gigabytes of uh, mods, which is the main mod pack uh, for the server. This mod pack won't always be up to date. Uh, we try to update it every single major update, but there will be small patches where you will need to patch it, which is where Armour 3 Sync comes into play. You also will need all the workshop mods, which is at the moment just cup. We may add more in the future, but for now you can just go to the Discord, click the workshop link. And you can subscribe to all of these, which will automatically start downloading them when you open the Armour 3 launcher. So once you've got Armour 3 Sync, you want to open it up. And you want to go to Add on Options here, click the plus, and you want to find your Armour 3 directory and click Open. That'll put it here, and which will allow Armour 3 Sync to search for your mods. You then want to go to Repositories, and you want to click the new repository. Come down to the Discord and copy-paste the auto config link. Once you paste the config link, you want to put it into here and click the Import. This will automatically import it and you'll get it in here once you click OK. This will say updated, so you need to update it. You then want to click uh, the bottom thing there and it will check files, see what add-ons you're missing. So once this is done checking for files, uh, see I only have four because I obviously have the mods up to date in my Armour 3 directory, but I can just go to my Armour 3 directory and I'll, need, uh, I'll have Tax Town Life here. What you guys need to do is get the @taxdownlive folder and uh, that you downloaded from the Google Drive and de uh, drag it into your Armour 3 directory here. Then you go back to Armour 3 Sync, uh, check the add-ons once again. The total files to update, total files to delete will be the ones that you are missing and the final ones you need to update. So you then want to click the select all button just here once this is finished. That'll select all the things you need to update. So for me, it's just the four menu button. I'm not going to do that because it's currently in testing. Uh, it just deletes the menu so everyone else can't spam join. But uh, when the server's actually out, you'll see the updates here. They'll either be red, blue, or whatever, depending on whether it's a deleted or a new file. You then just click this plus. It'll start downloading all the files. Once they're finished, you'll get download finished. And that is pretty much it. You then want to go to your Armour 3, open it up. Go to your mods, you want to load all of the cup you've downloaded off the workshop. Note that you do not need CBA as it's in our mod pack. And then you want to click local mod up here. Navigate to your Armour 3 directory, which is program file Steam, Steam as common Armour 3. And you want to go to at text and life and select the folder. That'll put it in like this and you can just scroll down and select it. And these are the six mods you need to be able to join the server. So once you have text and life loaded, all of this loaded, you can just load the server like so. I'll uh, quickly open it up for you to show you what it looks like if you've done this correctly. Um, no, you will need to be on the uh, TeamSpeak while playing on the server, which is pretty much a given, but if you haven't played this type of server before, you're just seeing Tacky and got armor because of it, then you can just copy paste the TeamSpeak IP, go to TeamSpeak, click connect, drag it into here, and then click connect, and you'll be able to join it. So we'll just wait for Armour 3 to open. It'll take a little bit because you're opening it with mods, but shouldn't be too long. Alrighty, so now that you've opened Armour 3, this is what the uh, main menu should look like. Uh, you might have a background. I have that turned off in my parameters, but otherwise you have some tacky shit in the background. And then you have this. You won't have Virtual Arsenal Editor. That's just for the staff members and developers, but you'll just be able to click Join Server, select the server, or if you don't have many, it should automatically join you. But if you do have multiple, then just... Click the server you want to join and click OK and that will connect you to the server. That's pretty much all you got to do and then you'll be able to play on the server. Make sure you get TeamSpeak tags and sign up to our website. All the links you need will be in the description. 